I just flew in. Boy, my arm's tired. <laughs> no, but seriously, my arms hurt. It's block time. So let's break down my week. On Friday, I did exactly as I said in the last video and did stuff with the mother. And pretty much that's all. Saturday was a Taco Max day! Except it wasn't really as great as I thought it would be. And, well, pretty much the highlight of the day was getting to meet my friends that I haven't met in, like, over a year. Because <laughs> I don't even remember when was the last uh, Otaku Max. Because I had issues trying to find a hotel. Basically, it, it didn't improve at all. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about this in the... Um, in my vlog here or if I should talk about it in um, the podcast I do with Railgun but in, but I'm just gonna leave it there and I might talk about it later if you really want to know more about it um, I could give the whole details about it in a later video if you really want to Sunday I started the Utao 20 day challenge that's happening on tumblr right now if you want to see what my my answers are, the link will be down there below. Monday! So, I had to do a presentation for my art class, and funny thing is, is that I was the only person who had their thumbnail dry because the computer that we were using couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. So, I lent mine out to everyone. Little did I know, I had some questionable things on there like a folder that's called nasties and a file which in alphabetical order says angry butt sex Tuesday so I didn't have class so I just talked I randomly got into a conversation with my friend and we talked about my upcoming trip to Europe and he was trying to prepare me for one of the locations which I'm not gonna lie we're planning on probably going to Poland and probably going to Krakow and then to Auschwitz which is like you know probably one place most people go to but I don't think the Poles really like the fact that a lot of tourists go there <laughs> so he was trying to prepare me mentally for it but I don't think what he doesn't know is that my family is like the biggest bunch of freaks ever. I'm not going to lie. My stepdad totally is into Bigfoot. He's totally into UFOs and ghosts and demons and hauntings and all that crazy shit. And my mom is into like, well, if you live here in North America or in Southwest, you should know about Day of the Dead, which is basically a Mexican um, tradition where they visit, they, it's kind of a whole big, like kind of like party for the dead thing. Like it's really fun when you learn about it and there's all kinds of cool things like uh like the the sugar skulls and the you know how the people do their makeup and they'll wear marigolds and they wear the traditional clothing it's really cool and if you don't know about it just look up day of the dead if you know spanish dia de los muertos and it'd be really awesome so yeah <laughs> and um basically it isn't my first like um world war ii related um site I've ever been to. I have been to, um, probably the first one that comes to me is the Holocaust uh, Museum in Washington, I think. It was, uh, uh, I don't remember exactly. I think it was there. It was pretty nuts. Like, it was, like, it was just so insane and intense when you go there and then you come out and it's just, this. You see those images, and you see all the sights, and you hear all the stories, and you're just like, holy shit. Like, like it's something you have to see. Like, I'm totally expecting something like that, but, you know, like, way, way, way more intense. Also, the second one I could think of was um, the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. That one, that one's pretty, you know, it's like... You know, this is where they were hiding. And it's, like, pretty crazy to... Especially, like, if you know about the story more. The Diary of Anne Frank. Like, it's just... You know, those are, like, very intense sights. And it's just, like, you know... You know... There's... There's a lot to gain from it. You know, like, learning the stories and the history behind it. But it's, like... 
you know, it's very sobering, I guess is the way to say it, when you, when you go to places like that. So yeah, I'm totally expecting like, you know, if we do go to Auschwitz, that it's going to be just, it's just going to be those times a thousand. I just, I don't know. I am I am prepared for it because, you know, it's not my first thing where, you know, lots of death and horrific stories and just all kinds of crazy shit also. And I guess maybe I can mention, I've also been to like, you know, like ghost tours to like a uh, prison prisons and hospitals where you know they treated people horribly too but uh, you know you know where they were treating people but they were really like torturing patients and shit like like <laughs> it's nothing new to me but I'm totally expecting it to just blow my mind that I just I'm prepared as much as I possibly can for it so Wednesday, I finally got to use the gym at the main campus that I go to, and uh, there were people there very early in the morning. I wasn't used to it, but I worked out for 30 minutes because I'm so out of shape and I had allergies. Actually, it's allergy season it's coming up soon. That's going to really suck. So, yeah. Also, I finally heard Gangnam Style played on the radio. I am now absolutely 100% convinced this is no longer a thing that's just on the internet. <laughs> Thursday, which was yesterday. My arms really do hurt because I worked out a lot on my arms. But I really need to work on my, I guess you call it core. Because I need to lose weight. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I'm like, I'm like, have really bad health just I should really lose weight also I can look really manly when I do cosplay because I like cosplaying guys and 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 my Twitter friends will know who I went to cosplay or maybe not I wish I had the wig so it could give you a clue but and now we have today in which nothing happened oh yeah so I've been, I've had a lot of fun doing this vlogging thing, even though this is only my third video. And I was talking to, still so we're going to talk to my friend, and he was thinking about doing one. And I really want him to do one because I really think it's a lot of fun. And you can really, you know, if you have something to talk about, you can say it. Except we also have our podcast. So we have to learn how to keep shit separately. Like me, like I personally don't know about the Taco Max thing, but yeah. But if you but if you want to see him do um vlogs, you should totally go bug him and do it. Because it'd be a lot of fun to see how he does it. <laughs> I'm gonna post his channel down there too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up. So anyways, uh send me <laughs> uh suggestions or comment on what you want me to talk about. Or you could also um, send a, me suggestions for what we could also talk about in our podcast. We've just been very... Oh, yeah, so give us shit to talk about. And that'll be bueno. Okay, so until next week. Bye-bye.